Hey, GED students, we are working on the beginning level practice from Unit 0, Lesson 1 on the Crash Course. That's the basic operations lesson, and we are looking at numbers 1, 3, 5, 8, and 11 right now. Let's take a look at these directions. Directions tell us to determine the operation indicated by each phrase. You guys have a really bad habit of just looking at the problem without reading the directions. And you could make this thing a lot harder than it is. All I'm asking you to do is determine the operation, guys. All I'm asking you to do is tell me, am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? <laughs> like literally. <laughs> Uh, what is indicated by the phrase. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. The difference between 60 and 30. That's one of the vocab words that I needed you to walk away from today's lesson with. So the difference, the difference. Remember that a difference is a positive subtraction expression or its answer. So we don't really need to understand that it's positive for this particular problem. We were just supposed to write the operation. So what operation? Subtraction. Next one, the sum of 11 and 22. Do you remember which operation was indicated by sum? Uh, sum talked about an addition expression. So I'm indicating here that I'd like you to add 11 and 22 if I ask you for the sum of them. Uh, the quotient of 75 divided by 15. Now, this is one I can't write without this keyword or else you won't be sure of order. Um, but I wish it didn't have divided by in there because that kind of is a big clue. But quotient does mean that I am indicating uh, an act of division. So a quotient is a division expression. Now, next one, the product. And this is the one. If you walk away with remembering nothing else from this lesson, please remember this word because this one's their favorite. They use it in algebra. Um, it gets used in some more complex problems than this. But we need to know what this word means before we can even look at those more challenging problems. So the product, product indicates a multiplication expression. So what operation is indicated in this phrase? Multiplication. And then finally, you know, there were only four operations in four words, sum, difference, product, quotient. So how come Kate has a fifth one? Well, one of these has a synonym. <laughs> it has a word that means the same thing. The distance between 19 and 13 on a number line. The distance between two numbers on a number line. You're trying to find the space between them, you guys. The difference between them. Distance is a synonym with difference, they mean the exact same thing. They're both the positive answer in subtraction. So what am I indicating here? I am indicating subtraction. And that concept, again, in a little more complex of a scenario usually, but the distance between two numbers on a number line often comes up on the non-calculator section. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math problem, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.